Diego Simeone took over at Atletico Madrid in December 2011, winning the Europa League at the end of that season. He has since guided the club to a La Liga title in 2013-14, as well as winning the Copa del Rey, the Supercopa de España, the UEFA Super Cup and twice finishing as runners-up of the Champions League. Simeone's Atletico are most revered as a defensive side, incredibly well organised and hard-working. Simeone prefers a 4-4-2, although this season in La Liga he has used a 4-4-1-1 and even a 4-2-3-1 variant. Two banks of four is, however, the template for his system, in a league that otherwise tends to prefer 4-2-3-1 or variants of a 5-3-2. Firstly, and with echoes of Origo Saki's AC Milan side, Simeone's 4-4-2 is both vertically compact and narrow. This creates two elements that are key to the team's defensive methodology, a congested midfield and overloads out wide. The central midfielders, usually Gabi and the superb Koke, drop slightly, as do strikers Antoine Griezmann and Kevin Gamero, who allow the opposition centre-backs or centre-half some space. The wide players push up slightly, creating something akin to a 4-2-2-2. This compacts the central area, and even though it allows the opposition space to pass the ball, they are doing so in areas that cannot hurt Atletico. As the opposition moves forward into their defensive third, they drop deeper and the wide men fan out slightly. The aim is to ensure that when the opposition get to within about 10 yards of the penalty box, Madrid have a compact, narrow two lines of four, with one striker assisting the midfield and one lurking for the long counter-attacking ball. Simeone's team are all about minimising risk, even if that means ceding possession and it's only when the ball moves into dangerous areas that they swarm the opposition and attempt to win possession. Atletico Madrid do not press with the same regularity as other sides known for the tactic, but when they do, it's aggressive and successful. With the shape sacred above all else, the club tend to press only when an opposition player takes a poor touch or when the compact, narrow defensive shape has pushed them wider. In this instance, a winger and a fullback, assisted by a forward dropping deep or occasionally a central midfielder shifting across, will form a triangle press around the opposition player in possession. The whole team will shift across in this instance, keeping the overall shape and conscious that the likelihood of the pressed player being able to switch the ball to the more open opposite flank is now limited. Atletico Madrid are ruthless on the counter and in Antoine Griezmann they have a lethally clinical striker. Madrid focus the bulk of their attacks from out wide, with only around 25% of their attacks starting centrally. Winning possession from the press, the fullbacks and wingers will drive forwards before looking to release the strikers. Atleti have been caught offside 3.8 times per match in the Liga this season, more than any other side, indicative of their fast breaking approach. With this style, the team rely much more on individual attacking flair to create chances as opposed to complex passing moves. Diego Simeone has fashioned a side that, like Sacchi's or those of Jose Mourinho, is defensively predicated on rigid organisation, intelligent passing and tactical discipline that maximise attacking chances while minimising risk. Cholismo, as some call Simeone's approach, balances individual skill with team instructions and with this, he has created a fearsome team. If you'd like to read more of Alex Stewart's writing, there's a link to his Twitter account in the description of the video. And if there's a specific tactic or team you'd like to see us cover, please do leave a comment. Uh, we do read them and we take them all into consideration. <laughs>